sound of roaring engine, the smell of burning rubber. This must be a racing title. Oh, goody, it is. Pop culture tells us beautiful women and fast cars are a perfect match. Even though I have no direct experience with either, I can tell you our racing evolution cashes in on this combo. I feel sorry for the other racers. He'll take on the role of Rena, an ambulance driver turned race car driver. Just because she can drive an ambulance, this means she's a great race car driver? Oh, hello. A trip to the ER never looked so good. I wonder who the developer was targeting here. Could it be male adolescents? <laughs> <laughs> Someone, please tell me, who are these women? The name's Rena. Our racing evolution comes from the same folks who made the arcade-friendly Ridge Racer. Don't get confused, though. Our racing evolution isn't the next Ridge Racer game. If you have strong opinions on how a racer should play, you may find that this game does not quite meet your expectation. First, the cars handle like my grandma's Studebaker. They corner like whales. And with the default auto braking system, it's like driving with your parking brake on. My advice, turn auto braking off right away. The game comes up short with only 11 tracks to race in the racing life mode. The graphics are so-so in comparison with other racers like Project Gotham Racing or Need for Speed Underground. But if you love average graphics, you're in luck! It's normal for your pit crew and crew chief to help you out when racing, right? Wrong! In this game, the incessant chatter can make it hard to concentrate on the road. Get off the brake. It's a green light, kid. Where's my mechanic? Just what I want to say. Make up for your mistakes. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Sure, sure, chief. Whatever. On the positive side, you'll find a nice mix of car years and models. Despite only having 11 tracks, the game offers other modes to play, like drag race, rally racing. Don't forget the ladies. Our racing evolution walks the line between the simulation and an arcade-style racer. Car upgrade options on the sim side and features such as auto braking make it accessible like an arcade racer. The developers did try something that sets them apart from the rest of the pack. You can really put the pressure on by riding in your opponent's slipstream. You'll not only gain a bit of speed, you'll also fill up your opponent's pressure meter. When filled, this meter will trigger the nerve-wracked driver into making errors often causing them to spin out of control and choke down a healthy serving of your exhaust. If you're looking for the ultimate racing experience, you'll need to look elsewhere. Our racing evolution is in the fast lane, but stuck in neutral for a three out of five.